Hello to everything taking a look at Mac Booster. This is a software you can use to speed up your Mac by cleaning out your system and cleaning memory, duplicate files, etc. to keep your machine running efficient and fast. So you can see here, here's the application itself. You have your computer here, in this case I'm on my iMac. You can do the clean and boost, which shows you how to maximize the speed of OSN by doing some cleanup. So for example, you can just click the scan button and what this will do, it will scan for things like internet security, system cleanup, system optimization, and disk cleaning. So what this will do is it'll go through, it'll scan the system. You can see under performance boost here, this fixes issues that affect things like hard drive speed, shutdown process. So what you can do here is you can check specific things. You can turn off things like magnification, disable certain animations that may slow the machine down. You can also click within these little tabs right here to open up other things. So you can see processes that take up a large quantity of resources. You can see a lot of these current things I'm running. For example, ScreenFlow is the one I have uh, currently running to record my screen, so that takes up 9% of the CPU. I can just to boost it by terminating certain things that are taking up a lot of space. So you can see any programs that are taking up a lot of your CPU usage and disable those. You can choose to boost your Mac. You have two options here. You can see you have work mode, and that's probably when you want to boost it for better work experience by making sure disk permission and safely terminating services that aren't necessary for your work. While in game mode, you may want to disable a lot of those other things that uh, and you just want the CPU to mainly focus on the game. So if you click on game mode here, you can see it kind of chooses uh, to, to, uh, to, I should say, terminate the ones that are probably you won't be using iTunes, etc., mail. You won't be using those during gaming processes. You can also see it'll automatically check system services, so on and so forth. Here you also have a toolbox so you can see your memory. So you can see you can choose to release memory to make your uh, Mac much faster, processing them much faster. So you have free RAM right here. I can hit clean and what it will do is it will scan right here and it will try and release more free RAM. So you can see 619 or 616 megabytes of RAM was released. You can also see your wired RAM, active and inactive RAM. Under duplicates finder, this is a great way to free up hard drive space. If you have a duplicate pictures or whatever, you can easily drag a folder in here and it will find all the duplicates. It can locate them and remove them quickly. This happens a lot with cameras when you import pictures or DSLRs, those sort of things. So it's a great way to get rid of those extra files and make your hard drive run much more efficient. Under large files cleaners, this allows you to remove files you are no longer needing. So you can navigate through the uh, folders here. You can add folders. You can clear the list. You can just click in here to see for example, we have the home folder, Kid Guru. You drag the folders here, you can hit scan, and what it will do is it will find the largest files and it will scale them from uh, basically the biggest files to the smallest files. That way you can kind of decide what you want to delete there. Uninstaller. OS X has a different method of installing programs that you may be used to. This makes it all very easy, a really easy to use interface that you can click on an application and you simply tap on install. But what it does is it goes in and gets the folders that are associated with that app as well. So when you normally uninstall an app, it may leave language files or any extra um, files in the folder or the system files. This goes in and gets all those extra folders and will delete them as well. So you completely uninstall the program and you get rid of all those extra folders and space that wasn't available previously. Last but not least, you have startup optimization here. You can see you have uh, ways to manage what items and applications start up with your computer. So for example, these are a list of the stuff that starts up. Let's say I don't want certain things starting up. I can disable certain services from starting up to boost my speed here. So I can dis uh, disable that. You can also add items here. Keep that in mind. And if you mess up something, you can easily just restore it. So if you don't want it, if you want it back to the way it was, you can easily just restore it here. So I'm just disabling some things here that I don't really need running. For example, right when the computer is turned on, I can disable things like screen capture. And you can see here you have your restore, or sorry, that's a restore list here. You can disable those. And this again really helps in that of it doesn't process these things when they start up. A lot of these things you don't need when you start up your Mac. This is a great way to optimize it for a much faster boot time. And again, this application has tons of other things in here. You can see things like widgets for uninstalling. You can clean up tons of files and save a lot of disk space. And of course, you can just go through the clean and boost and have it run its own scan and see how your current Mac health is and you know go about optimizing what you need to optimize. You also have settings in the top right here, so you can adjust things like logs. You can set auto clean here, so we can do it at scheduled times. Disk clean, system cleanup. You can check all the settings here that you want it to apply to. So again, this is Mac Booster. And and all right, again, below the video, you will find a link to download Mac Booster, or you can get a 15% off coupon for Mac Booster. So you can see here, if you buy 
uh, a 3 Mac or 5 Mac license, you get a free bonus, like in this case, the Advanced System Care Pro. Uh, 6 for one year, along with a Mac Tweet Guide. So you can see here, you have this free 15, you get the 15% 15 uh, off discount if you use their link below. And you can see here with the Mac Booster 3 Max with gift pack here, this is the three pack, you get the bundled content with it. So you have the Advanced System Care Pro, one year subscription, the Mac Booster for 3 Max, uh, th good for three licenses. And again, Mac Tweaks Guide eBook all packaged into this one link. So again, this is a great offer you can get 15% discount plus bundled software on top of that. Or nonetheless, if you want to get the one license, you can do that as well. So check it out. That'll be in the link below. Again, this is Mac Booster, a software to speed up your Mac.